So now that we understand why we want to use OpenOffice, I'd like to briefly explain the interface components of OpenOffice Writer so you can get a general sense of where everything is. We'll be going into the details of how they actually work in future videos. So to start things off, we have the menu bar at the top, which is very standard to most desktop applications, including submenus like File, Edit, View, Insert, and Format. Now if we click on a menu, you'll notice that there's a lot of different functionality inside of here, and it is true, you can pretty much find all the functionality in OpenOffice Writer if you know where to look in the menus. However, that is often the hard way to find the function you're looking for. In many cases, what they do is they stick the most commonly used functionality on the toolbars that we see right below that. The standard toolbar, the first one right below the menu, will contain many of the best functions such as starting a new document, opening, saving, um, exporting as PDF, doing spell checks, and other things that you would just use time and time again as you're writing documents. To the right of the standard toolbar, you have the Find toolbar for finding text within the document, and below that, the Formatting toolbar for customizing how text in different sections of your document will appear on the page. In the center of the window, you have the document itself, usually indicated by a white background unless you've otherwise changed it to a different color. And here is where you would actually type your document. By default, you're going to see a gray line inside of your document, which actually indicates the space within your document, which you're allowed to type. This gray line is the separator between the margin, where text is not allowed to appear, and the main portion of the document where you can actually type the body out. The gray space behind the white document is merely to indicate where the page breaks off and is no longer something that is going to be printed out or saved. Now surrounding the main workspace window is going to be rulers for controlling where text starts and ends on a page as you type and also for measuring the actual size of your document if you were to print it out on paper. On the right and bottom of the main workspace window are going to be scrolling bars which allow you to see different aspects of the page by scrolling up and down or left and right. Further to the right of the scrolling bar is going to be the sidebar, which contains many of the same dialog menus you can find within the menu bar, but at easier access with a simple click. That brings us to the bottom of the screen, which contains the status bar telling us different types of information about what we are currently working on, including the page numbering, what page we are currently on, followed by how many pages are in the document, the page style format of the current page we are working on, the language of OpenOffice Writer that we have installed, our insert mode, and our selection mode. Whenever you see this star symbol to the right of the selection mode area, that represents that we have unsaved changes within our document, and it's recommended that you do save your changes often so that you don't lose any progress while you work. Further to the right of that, we have a section which may display different object information for whatever we currently have selected within our document. To the right of object information, we have the view layout display, which will show whether we are currently displaying one page at a time, two pages at a time that are separated, or two pages that are sealed together at the seam like a book. Right beyond that, we have the zoom slider, which we can use to zoom further into or out of the document by clicking on the little circle inside of it and scrolling it to the right to zoom in or scrolling it to the left to zoom out. But normally we'll leave that at 100%. And you'll notice as we do change the zoom and let go, it'll actually notify us right to the right of that the zoom percentage in the very bottom right hand corner of OpenOffice Writer. The last component of the OpenOffice interface which I'd like to mention on the menu bar to the very very far right is a download icon and if we click this it'll actually display your extension update which if you have any updates that need to be made to OpenOffice, it'll let you know right here and you'll be able to quickly install them by selecting them with the checkbox and hitting the install button. 
So that's where you can find most of the components within OpenOffice Writer, at least the ones you can see visually. And we'll of course be going into how each of these work in detail in future videos so that you get a great understanding of how to use OpenOffice Writer. Until the next video, see you then.